Some places are harder to leave than others, and the camp that I called home for the last 10 days, with its vast views of the Sawtooth Mountains, was one of those. Such is life on the road, the time had come to move on and to fall in love with a new place. Well, it's moving day, and as sad as I am to leave that incredible spot, I have a super beautiful spot that I'm about to go to. So it eases the sadness a bit knowing that I'm going to such an amazing place. Is it strange that I look forward to my morning coffee the night before? What a gorgeous morning and what a beautiful place to enjoy my morning coffee. As much as I loved those vast views of the Sawtooth Mountains from my last camp, there's just something really magical about being in the forest and being in the woods. This is incredible to have this creek running right outside of my window and it's just amazing. I love it. I could hear it, I left my windows open last night and could hear the sound of the creek all night long and then the birds chirping this morning. I'm an early riser, but the sun doesn't peak over these mountains until I would say it was almost eight o'clock before it started peaking over. So it's probably just a little bit after eight now. I'm asked all the time how I find my camping and a lot of times I use apps like Campendium. However, this spot I found completely by accident. It is very remote. And if it looks familiar, it's because I showed it to you last week in last week's video. I came here and had lunch and when I was here, I did not want to leave. I just stumbled upon it and it uh, was some place that I definitely wanted to come back to and spend some time. It's, as I said, very remote. I uh, drove 15 miles off of the main highway to get here on a dirt road. And even that main highway is in a remote location. There are potential thunderstorms in the forecast today. However, it's looking beautiful right now. So I'm gonna get some things done here around camp and then probably go explore the area. A real quick word about the sponsor of today's video, Athletic Greens. It is time to consume my favorite and one and only healthy beverage, AG1 by Athletic Greens, and I even wore green in honor of it today. Athletic Greens is a comprehensive all-in-one greens powder engineered to fill the nutritional gaps in your diet and support your body's nutritional needs across four pillars of health, gut health, immune support, energy, and recovery. It is jam-packed with 75 vitamins and minerals and whole food sourced ingredients, combining the perfect amount of micronutrients, absorption, and taste to jumpstart your daily routine. One of the many things that I love about AG1 is it's one and done, and that really suits my nomadic lifestyle. With one scoop or one travel packet a day, I am well on my way to a healthier me. 
Athletic Greens continues to obsessively improve AG1 based on the latest research, producing 52 improvements over the last decade and counting. Right now, Athletic Greens is going to give my community an immune-supporting free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to the link in the description now. Once again, I'd like to thank Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the show. Going to be whipping up a breakfast sandwich this morning. And this is how I toast my bread. Apparently, my pan was very hot. <laughs> It's amazing I can see out of those windows at all. They are filthy from the drive in here. Time to clean them. Can you tell which side is the clean one? What a difference. I can see all the beautiful scenery outside now. This is a great way to cool off. I'd get all the way in, but the water is freezing. Actually, it's kind of painful on my feet right now, but I know I'll get used to it. It's warmed up quite a bit today. It started out pretty chilly, but it's warmed up quite a bit and the thunder clouds are starting to move in. I wonder if we'll get a thunderstorm today. I have itchy bites all over me. I was attacked by something when I was setting up camp last night. I'm assuming it was mosquitoes because I did see a few flying around. I'm all done with my chores, so I think it's time to explore. Let's go. This area is known as Yankee Fork, where there are many remnants of a bygone era back in the early days of mining and gold prospecting. The town of Custer was founded in early 1879 by gold speculators. Economically supported by the operations of the Lucky Boy and Black Mines, Custer reached its peak population of 600 in 1896. By 1910, Custer had become a ghost town. The Yankee Fork dredge is described as the largest in Idaho and one of the best preserved dredges in the West. Tours are available. Next up was a drive on Loon Creek Road. I was told by a viewer that he spotted wolverines in this area. 
I was on a search for wolverines which I didn't find, but what I did find were amazing views. Thunderstorms were moving in, so it was time to head back to enjoy my beautiful camp in the woods. We've got rain. Well, the thunderstorms did indeed arrive. You might have just heard some thunder right now. <laughs> I love it. I love the thunder and the rain. However, it did mess up my dinner plans because I planned to make something kind of cool outside, but that's not going to work now. So I will be making something very quick and simple and easy for tonight. And this is it, a salad in a bag, which I've added a bunch of shredded chicken to the top. And that is dinner in a pinch. Dinner is done and it is still thundering and raining, but I'm happy about that because this area really needs, and all the Western United States really need the rain. So rain, keep on raining. <laughs> How about you? Do you enjoy a good thunderstorm? Let me know below. I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a video here. I hope that you enjoyed sharing this time with me at this just gorgeous camp. I really love it. I plan on staying here just a little bit longer before moving on and I'm going to enjoy every moment of it. My time in the woods. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and I will see you all on the next adventure next Sunday. See you soon. Bye-bye.